appear to learn together. So... I need to know the abilities before I make any loadouts. So... Select battle rights. Let's actually not take... watch that yet. Swing your claws to deal 12, 14 or 18 damage every third hit is a root root that heals you for 3... 8 health and pulls enemies closer. 1, 2, 3... That's a very slow attack speed, but... Oh, I wonder the range is... Okay, the range is pretty nice! How? Let's see how far? Okay. So I think from here it's gonna hit. Yeah. Pretty big. Pretty big. That's our most one. And it also heals. Uh, Leeching Thorns launch. Two Leeching Thorns each dealing 12 damage and 85 Thorns. And there is also EX version of it. <coughs> thorns thorns drain the target. Dealing 4 damage and healing you for 8 health over 4 seconds. 1, 2... Let's try the EX. That's, that's 40 damage, that's, that's pretty nice, right? Forty damage for twenty-five energy with a with a good range. Oh 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 oh! oh sorry, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Look at this range. Twenty-five energy, forty damage. Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, the space root network burrow into the ground and emerge from beneath as a duration on for recast, and I can move while while doing that. Which is pretty cool. And if I press space again, I will uh, emerge. There's some tech going on right there. And the EX version is borrow yourself and your allies into the ground and emerge beneath your enemies dealing 14 and inflicting. Dealing 14 damage and inflicting stun. This one stuns too, but, but with the... With the EX base, you're able to take your teammate with you. Let's go actually give it a go. Where's my teammate? I need to spawn. So, like this, but you cannot move while doing that. So, there's the difference. This is normal space. And this is the EX base. Quite cool. Quite cool. I think you can do a lot of nice stuff with this. Um... Evil clutch, crow rolls from the crown, pull them towards you, dragging along any enemies in the path, dealing 12 damage. Pretty simple skill. Can definitely have good value because the range is pretty nice. But I can see this being easy to dodge, like if you just pay attention. Hold on, can we do tech? Alright, so let's see. Oh. Okay, so it's it, kind of hard because I can't really flick it and and it pulls to the spot Where you actually spaced away so that can unfortunately it's not possible to pull and and space away unfortunately But that's Q evil clutch. Let's move on and single route Send rolling roots forward dealing a damage and then tangling and target enemy for 16 health over 2.5 seconds, and they got target this granted shield, and it's unable to move or cast double his practice shield, ends the effect. Aha! Just like a pe petrify. That's a petrify, right? Can I? All right, that works. So I can, I can use my E and pull someone. That was in BLC too, I, I suppose. Alright, move on, move on. Let's see, actually, do, does our auto attacks cleave? No, they don't. I have to test that. Shield a target ally, guarding them from damage and disables. Proctal and melee attacks absorbed by barbed husk. Trigger a volley of thorns that deals 12 damage to nearby enemies, while shielded the target is unable to move or use abilities. It's actually a very nice skill. 
like a very nice kill. 25 energy, the shield is 50, still damage. But let's move on. The ultimate F, the most iconic skill Thorn has, right? You can pull people into the ultimate and stuff like that. Pick. Snared at the same time. Now the cooldown is 15 seconds on the shield. But I have the uh, no cooldowns on. Uh, Borrow and travel to target location, deal 60 damage, leaving the trail of dead roots behind you. Dead roots blow. Uh, Block projectiles, inflict snare, and deal 56 damage over duration. Could be very good when combat with Lucy's ultimate, for example. Alright, so that's the basic ab abilities of Thorn. Let's see the battle rights. Hitting an enemy with Rook Claw reduces incoming damage by 10% for 2.2 seconds, stacks up 2 times. Root grip range increased by 20%, Drax target enemy closer and deals 2 bonus damage. Uh, Thorns reduces target damage and healing output by 25% for 2 seconds. Thorn reduces the movement speed of target enemy by 15%. Thorns deal 4 bonus damage and heals you for 2 bonus health over its duration. Okay. Okay, I, I can start I start to see a build. A tanky build. Turn the invisible during burrow. Oh, so now enemy cannot see me. Okay, that can be... Hmm. Burrow duration increased by 0 0.5. I think this can be very, very good in, in 3 versus 3. Especially in the Scream Sword tournament, because you are able to stay... The longer you are able to uh, stay away from damage as melee, the better. Moving under an enemy during Boros since impaling roots upwards, dealing 10 damage to struck. 10 damage to struck enemy after 0 0.2 second delay. Uh, I see. Landing Boros grants you a shield absolutely 40 damage for every target hit, lasting up to 3 seconds. So. Quite a, it's quite a big shield, if it, but it's. 14 health. I don't I don't know if that's good to take. Landing evil clutch grants a recast to strike nearby enemies, dealing 9 damage and infinite thorns. Oh. So that's your Q ability, huh? Oh I see. Evil clutch inflicts a one second rule. Sinister Sap, Entangling Roots, cooldown is reduced by 1 second and deals 8 damage over its duration. Entangling Roots spreads towards nearby enemies and the effect is broken, dealing 4 damage to enemies hit in for lesser Entangling Roots. Barbed task cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds and inflict thorns upon enemies hit. 30 second shield. I, I can see this being pretty much used. Kind of off cooldown. Burrow underground at the end of the dead rules. Oh. All right. Okay, that, that's that's thorn abilities. That's thorn abilities and battle rights. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. I, I have something in mind. I have something in mind. Loadouts. This is just a test loadout, but I think uh, neurotoxin thorn. Thorn reduces target's damage and healing output. I think regrowth. Lurker, Burrow duration increased by 0 0.5 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
this uh Basically, it would be a survival build, so I would use this to just reapply thorns. I might be completely wrong about this, I just need to play and test it out. Mm. Maybe creeping roots? Or turn invisible during burrow. I don't know the the feet. Hmm. I think I, I think, I think I would go with this. This is a test build. Test build. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. We'll find out. 